Welcome to On Bill TV. This is Yuan Kirk. Here is your solo first headlines. Supreme Court on Monday rejected former Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia's bail pleas in case related to alleged excise policy scam. BRS MP Kota Prabhaskar Reddy was on Monday stabbed in the stomach by an unidentified person while he was campaigning in Telangana's CD pad. The incident happened in Surampali village of the Dolatabad Mandal. The chief, the chief of Indian Navy, Admiral R. Hari Kumar, said on Monday that every effort is being made by the government to find relief for eight former Indian Navy personnel who have been sentenced to death in Qatar. After a suspected terrorist attack at a convention center in Kalamasiri in Ernakulam district of Kerala on Sunday morning, killing at least three and injuring 40 others, Kerala Chief Minister Pinaraya Vijayan on Monday chaired an all-party meeting at the CM's conference hall in Duruvananthapur. Now for the news in details. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi on Monday, while addressing a public rally in Chhattisgarh's Bilaspur, said that the Congress-led state government will be implementing the Mahatari Nayak Yojana for women, under which for refilling every cylinder and subsidy word, Rs 500, will be granted. She said the government will directly transfer this amount into the bank accounts of the women in the household. कहा है कि कुछ घोषणाएं हैं नई घोषणाएं हैं उनके बारे में मैं आपको बता देती हूं छत्तीसगढ़ की माताओं बहनों के लिए महतारी न्याय योजना लागू कर रहे हैं इसमें प्रति सिलेंडर के रिफिल करने के लिए मतलब जब आप फिर से भरने के लिए ले जाएंगे सिलेंडर को तो आपको 500 रुपए की सब्सिडी मिलेगी घर की महिला के बैंक के खाते में सरकार द्वारा सीधे डाले जाएंगे ये पैसे। कांग्रेस सरकार बनते ही प्रदेश के तकरीबन 50 लाख 63 हजार उपभोक्ताओं में से 42 लाख उपभोक्ताओं को जिनकी मासिक खपत 200 यूनिट बिजली से कम है, उनका बिजली बिल पूरा माफ होगा। Supreme Court on Monday rejected former Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia's bail pleas in a case related to alleged excise policy scam. Sisodia has been in custody since he was arrested by the Central Bureau of Investigation on February 26 for his alleged role in the scam. The bail pleas were taken up by a bench of Justices Sanjeev Khanna and SVN Bhatti who directed to conclude the trial procedure in the case in six to eight months. The Apex Court further said that if the trial proceeds at a slower pace, Sisodia can, be, can reapply for bail at a later stage. The court also noted that a money of Rs 338 crore has been tentatively established in the case. Meanwhile, rejecting on the issue, BJP MP Sudhanshu Trivedi said, if one observes the Supreme Court, not only the bail was denied, but also Rs 330 crore. सुप्रीम कोर्ट के ऑब्जर्वेशन को देखेंगे तो उसमें सिर्फ जमानत याचिका खारिज नहीं की गई है बल्कि 338 करोड़ रुपए प्रथम दृष्टया स्थापित होते हुए दिख रहे हैं यानी जो वो पैसे की बात करते थे और जो मनी ट्रेल की बात करते थे वो आज लीगली स्टैब्लिश होती हुई दिख रही है यानी इस समय अब ये सिर्फ एक एलिगेशन नहीं है इस ऑब्जर्वेशन के बाद अब ये सिर्फ एलिगेशन नहीं है अब ये सिर्फ सब्सटेंटिव एलिगेशन भी नहीं है बल्कि अब इसके अंदर क्वांटिटेटिव सबमिशन भी हो गया है 
means up till now it's not just an allegation it is neither just a substantive allegation but now it has come with a quantitative submission of the amount of 338 crores which is money trail is being probed or agar hum ye kahe to ye ab sirf aarop nahi hai sirf tathyatmak aarop nahi hai isme sankhyatmak sthiti bhi samne aa gayi hai abhi tak wo kehte the paisa hai kahan wo jitni bhi baatein karte the केजरीवाल साहब तो पैसा मीडिया की रिपोर्ट में नहीं बताया जाता पैसा जांच एजेंसी बताती है न्यायालय के सामने और न्यायालय के समक्ष उपस्थित साक्ष्यों के माध्यम से यह पैसा उजागर हो रहा है अब मुझे लगता है केजरीवाल जी की सरकार को बताना पड़ेगा न्यायालय को कि पैसा कहां है ये शराब घोटाले का पैसा कहां है लगता डूब गया है पैसा BRS MP Kota Prabhaskar Reddy was on Monday stabbed in the stomach by an unidentified person while he was campaigning in Telangana CDPAT. The incident happened in Surampali village of the Dolatabad Mandal. The MP was, has been shifted to Yashoda hospitals, Sekunderabad and is said to be in stable condition. Meanwhile, the accused, who according to reports was manhandled by party workers, has been taken to custody and investigation is underway. Some well-known Nagaland celebrities were on limelight recently. This time it's not for their music but for other reasons. The recently concluded mixed martial arts event held in Dimapu has caught the attention of social media users and it has gone viral. The conflict between local artist Alabo Naga, former Rodis contestant Lisa, popularly known by her stage name Leave Lock, and local singer Renbeni Odio has created uproar on social media among the users. Here is a summary for those who are unaware of the ongoing fiasco. The conflict began with the Apex Combat Championship organized by Musica Events where Renbeni Odio and Lee Vlog were to have a face-off which supposedly was scripted. According to Lisa's allegation, in her recent YouTube video about the whole face-off between her opponent Renbeni Odio being scripted, providing screenshot conversations between her and Alobo Naga Lisa took it to her YouTube channel. Renbeni Odio has been critical of Lee Vlog and has accused her of being disrespectful towards Naga culture. The feud has played out on social media, exchanging accusations and insults. It has also generated a great deal of public interest and debate. It is important to note that the feud is still ongoing and it is unclear how it will be resolved. Regarding the ongoing conflict between local artist Alobo Naga, former Rodis contestant Lisa, po popularly known as Lee Vlog, and local singer Renbeni Odio, Samajwadi Chief Akhilesh Yadav on Monday taking a jibe at the BJP said that the Samajwadi PDA Yatra will continue to remove the BJP, adding that INDIA bloc will win in 2024 Lok Sabha elections. The Samajwadi PDA Yatra signifies the launch of Akhilesh campaign for the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. PDA, which stands for Pichra Dalit and Alpan Skayak is a term coined in the SP to define the people who the party is looking to address. Today, Akhilesh Yadav added another A to the group, saying that the PDA A also stands for Akra, meaning the forward class. जिसमें कि समाजवादी पार्टी के हमारे पदाधिकारी 
अभिषेक और उनके साथ बड़ी संख्या में साथियों में जिन लोकसभा में ये समाजवादी यात्रा निकली है उसमें बड़े पैमाने पर जहां समाजवादी पार्टी के नेता समाजवादी पार्टी के संगठन के लोग शामिल रहे वहीं हमारी पार्टी के विधायक पूर्व विधायक जिला स्तर या संगठन के लोगों ने समर्थन देने का काम किया वहीं जनता के बीच में लगातार समाजवादी कार्यक्रमों को पहुंचाने का काम किया है इधर देश के आगे जब से भारतीय जनता पार्टी सरकार में आई है लोकतंत्र को खतरा पैदा हुआ है जो हमारे मूल थे जो हमारे सिद्धांत थे जो हमारे पूर्वजों ने या यूं कहें जो हमारी गंगा जमनी तहजीब थी जो हमारा भाईचारा था उसको खत्म करने का काम भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने किया है और पिछले कई सालों के कार्यकाल में दिल्ली के संविधान जो हमें अधिकार देता है संविधान जिससे हमें सम्मान मिलता है जो बाबा साहब भीमराव अम्बेडकर जी के बनाए हुए संविधान की धज्जियां उड़ा रहे हैं देश में लगातार असमानता बढ़ रही है भाई चिल्ला क्यों रहे हो? जहाँ नफरत फैलाई है लोगों के बीच में वहीं आर्थिक रूप से बड़े पैमाने पर खाई पैदा इस सरकार ने की है इसलिए मैं इन नौजवानों को बधाई देना चाहता हूं। आज क्योंकि राजधानी में ये लखनऊ में यात्रा लेकर के आए आज लखनऊ में जो पी यात्रा साइकिल की हुई है मैं समाजवादी पार्टी के नेता कार्यकर्ता हूँ और जहाँ बधाई देता हूँ वहीं जनता का जो समर्थन मिला उसका मैं आभारी हूँ वहीं हमारे प्रेस के साथियों ने जो लगातार सुबह से इस यात्रा को कवरेज दिया है मैं उसमें पत्रकार साथियों का भी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ कि समाजवादी पी यात्रा से जो संदेश देने का काम किया है सामाजिक न्याय का जाति जनगणना का जो हमारे मांग रही है कि जिसकी जितनी आबादी हो उसका उतना हिस्सा हो उसको उतने अधिकार मिले It doesn't take much to save a life. Practice safe behavior. It has increased from 754 lakh to 770 lakh, and that a total of 28,190 crores payments has been made by the government. He further added that a total of 1,94,000 crore has been paid in subsidies and with the introduction of a new breed will give more returns. All of the rights have been taken and the last year has been taken and the next year has been taken and the next year has been taken. And the happiness is that this time the price has been more than the last year. 754 lakh क्विंटल की बजाय 770 लाख क्विंटल की प्राइस पर की और रिकवरी भी जो है पिछले साल गन्ने की 9.47 थी जो बढ़ करके 9.70 हो गई है रिकवरी भी ज़्यादा आई है 9.47 परसेंट से 9.7 परसेंट हो गई है और किसानों को हम 2819 एक करोड़ रुपए की सब्सिडी अपने पास से दी है ताकि किसानों को सहायता मिल सके और अगले साल का जो गन्ने की किस्म है नई एक वैरायटी आई है पंद्रह जीरो तेईस उसकी ईल्ड ज़्यादा आती है और उसमें रिकवरी भी ज़्यादा है अर्ली वैरायटी है वो 
उसका बीज बढ़ाने के लिए हमारा कृषि विभाग योजना देगा जिसके पास किसान के पास वो बीज उपलब्ध है उसको हम सब्सिडी देंगे और उससे बीज लेकर के जो किसान फसल बोएगा उसको भी कुछ सब्सिडी देंगे ताकि वो वाला बीज जल्दी से जल्दी तैयार हो उसके और आगे करने की बात रहा ना कम हो The Chief of Indian Navy Admiral R. Hari Kumar said on Monday that every effort is being made by the government to find relief for the eight former Indian Navy personnel who have been sentenced to death in Qatar. Speaking at the sidelines of the fourth edition of the Goa Maritime Conclave, currently underway in Goa, Kumar said he was awaiting the transcript of the court hearing. Earlier in the day, External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar met the family members of the eight Navy veterans and said the government was pursuing the case with the highest importance. On October 26, a Qatar court awarded that sentence to the eight Indian men working for a private company, Dara Global, who were arrested on un undeclared charges in August 2022. Court hearing, it was supposed to have been uh, transcribed and provided on Sunday. This Monday, we, when I get back, we will have a look at it. But you have heard the, uh, the... In Kalamasiri in Erlakum, district of Kerala on Sunday morning, killing at least three and injuring 40 others. Kerala Chief Minister Pinaraye Vijayant on Monday chaired an all-party meeting at the CM's conference hall in Tiruvananthapuram. After the meeting, the State Health Minister Veena George, updating on injured people, informed media persons that there are 17 persons in different hospitals, where 12 are in ICU, four are critically ill and three are on ventilator. She said those who are critically ill have burns above 50 to 60 percent. All you see we have 17 persons in different hospitals. Uh, 12 of them are in ICU and four are critically ill. Uh, three of them are ventilated. So we are giving every, uh, every possible support that is to be provided to them. We are giving that all those support. Yes, most of them uh, in, who are critically ill, they have uh, burns around 50 percent, about 50 percent, around 60 percent, and all. So I said, four uh, four are critically ill, and the rest they are almost stable. Uh, no, no other injuries are found. They have burns. Let the police conduct the inquiry. They will answer all the questions. Yes. Speaking on the same tragedy, Kerala leader of opposition and Congress leader V.D. Satisan, meanwhile, see that some leaders are making irresponsible statements, but Kerala will be united to address the situation. Stating that the opposition will support the government in taking action against the culprits, he demanded the government to address hate campaigns on social media. P.K. Kunhakuti on, on the Indian Union Muslim League also said the major concern of all parties is that Kerala should not communally divide. It's happened in uh, Ernagulam district. So uh, there was some hate campaign after the incident through the social media. And some irros irresponsible statements was made by some of the leaders, including a central minister. So um, we deplored uh, such uh, attempts. And uh, Kerala will be united to address this situation. We supported the government to take uh, action against the culprits. And uh, this will not use against the uh, Kerala state. This is a, an isolated incident. And we demanded uh, to strengthen uh, the intelligence uh, missionary in Kerala. And we demanded uh, a strict uh, vigilance on the social media. That was our demand. That demands were accepted. And uh, uh, we want uh, the government uh, to uh, address regularly, address the hate campaign which is happening in social media also. In the whole party meeting, the major concern of all the parties is that Kerala should not be communally divided. There may be difference between government and uh, opposition, ruling party and opposition party. That doesn't matter. That is on political ground. 
communal division, communal divide and exploit that situation. No major political party of Kerala will agree with that. But certain corners, communal parties, uh, they try to do that. So it, this kind of uh, 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 propaganda should not be there. Utilizing this kind of incidents, incidents may happen, but it's a criminal activity. It has to be handled strong handedly and if it's enough uh, guard, intelligence guard should be there. That's what we made today. We requested uh, more uh, vigilance in the uh, context of this incident. This is a, not a usual incident. Unusual in Kerala, such incident. So we have to make sure this kind of things doesn't happen also. After happening, what is the point? So it should not happen. For that, some precautionary measures should be taken. Government has agreed to that to make the vigilance more strong. That uh, statement of the union minister that this is a jihadi uh, action and all that is most uh, uh, contention. It is a very unfortunate. Uh, it should not have come out from a person like him who is sitting in the, such a responsible uh, position. He has to explain why he made such a statement. It is uh, a, uh, what do you say, statement to lead to, to such a situation, a propaganda to happen such a things. Uh, it is maybe uh, some political advantage, they will have some political advantage out of it, but how much harm it will do the, do the state, you should have thought about that. It's most unfortunate. That is all we have for the Prime Time Bulletin. Thank you for watching Hornwheel TV. an important issue that often gets overlooked. It refers to the idea of preserving and sustaining traditional cultures in the face of globalization and modernization.